Hendrix with the Black Sheep Report. And today I want to talk about some great news for people who are worried about the TPP. In a 52 to 45 vote today, this afternoon, the Senate opposed moving forward for now on a Trans-Pacific Partnership. Now, the vote required at least 60 yeses in order to let the Senate host a discussion on whether or not to give the President so-called fast-track authority on the matter. Now, the failure to reach this uh, put the future of the trade agreement in jeopardy, which is amazing. And seeking the fast-track uh, authorized the White House had basically hoped to give a blanket of approval by Congress and ha hammering out the multinational trade deal. Now only after an agreement is reached would lawmakers be allowed to weigh in by either voting for or against the measure. Now earlier today Senate, Senate Barbara Boxer, a Democrat from California, has actually raised concerns on the Senate floor over the Obama administration's lack of transparency with regards of what's being discussed by the TPP. She says, let me tell you what you have to do to read this agreement. Follow this. You, you can only take a few of your staffers who happen to have a security clearance because God knows why this is secure, this is classified. It's nothing to do with defense, it has nothing to do with fighting, going after ISIS, said Senate Bar uh, Barbara Boxer. Now, Weekly Leaks has released documents from uh, a meeting of the trade deal. Now, it was held in Salt Lake City, Utah from November 19th to 24th in 2013. Now, the Trans-Pacific Partnership does, does include 12 countries, the United States, Japan, Mexico, Canada, Australia, Malaysia, Chile, Singapore, Peru, Vietnam, and New Zealand. Now, the, the world, this, this would govern a number of the international, environmental, and trade issues. Now, Rick Leakes has also published a chapter from the draft date August 30th in 2013 that deals with the intellectual property or the IP rights. Previous reported that uh, content of the TPP regards to the IP laws and raised concerns among activists, of course. Now, with the California-based Electronic Frontier Foundation was even going as far to warn people earlier earlier leaked drafts text suggests that the agreement would have you know negative repercussions for users against like their freedom of speech, the rights to privacy and due process and basically hinder people's ability to innovate. Now, this has been James Hendricks with the Black Sheep Reports. Check out the links below. Our Facebook is uh, our Facebook page is Media on 9-11. Thank you.